Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniela and I have been reading the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas and I have been filming uh, little clips here and there of me reading and also um, chatting through the story. So this video started out as a non-spoilery vlog um, for Assassin's Blade but then I've later spoken about Assassin's Blade and all of the other books because I need to talk about these books. So this is a spoiler filled vlog so if you don't want spoilers, if you haven't read the series yet but you are planning to, maybe don't watch this yet. Uh, come back and watch it afterwards. But yeah, this will have spoilers in and I am having so much fun reading this series. I'm on, I'm about to start the fifth book so these videos are actually going to be broken down into four videos because they're long. <laughs> I talk a lot so this first video is going to be for Assassin's Blade and Throne of Glass and the next video will be for Crown of Midnight and Air of Fire and so on and so forth. I will say I think I gradually got better at filming my thoughts as I went along. This first video might be a little bit chaotic because I'm, st I'm still trying to get used to filming reading vlogs and I have tried my best to try and make this video not as chaotic as the filming process was. Um, so hopefully it, it works, hopefully it watches okay and I hope you guys enjoy it. So here is part one of the chaotic Friend of Glass reading vlog. So first off I read the Assassin's Blade which I absolutely loved. I absolutely fell in love with Sam, um, absolutely gutted. <laughs> when he died. Just the stuff with like her being really into the piano. I like discovered the piano as I think an early teenager. I ended up with a keyboard and then I got a digital piano and um, I went to college and did music and stuff. So like the bit where he got her the sheet music and she came home and the sheet music was on her bed I was like I just died inside. <laughs> oh, I loved him. I loved him so much. I was so gutted when he died. And the way he died So yeah, big Sam fan, gutted, absolutely gutted. He's been my favourite man so far. Also, I'm glad I read The Assassin's Blade first because it makes Selena more likeable. Like, I don't think I would have liked her in Throne of Glass had I not read The Assassin's Blade first. It also, because it calls back to that book so many times, I'm so glad I read that first and I'd recommend reading that first to get you invested in Selena and to understand all the Sam references. <laughs> Every time he's mentioned in another book, I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, so she goes off, she gets sent away to the desert to train with some other assassins. And she makes a friend there, and then, I've already forgotten her name, she's gone. <laughs> um, she makes a friend there, and then she, it's just a lot of time spent there training and learning. And then her friend gives her the letter from the master, which she was trying to get, um, her letter of approval from the master, and she goes to leave, uh, and then she somehow twigs something's not right, and she goes back, and that that girl has betrayed everyone, and loads of people die, and it's very sad, and the fact that she like lets her go, even though like she could have, she could have got her, like she let her go by choice. She's so lovely. <laughs> no, she's an assassin, but. So she returns from there, Sam's alive, they finally admit that they like each other and that they love each other <laughs> and then they kill Sam. Sam dies trying to complete a contract to earn them both their freedom so that they can go away together because she's paid off all her debts. So at the end she is betrayed by the head of the Assassin's Guild, whose name I have also forgot. <laughs> um, and he's the one that ends up telling them that Sam's coming. That's how Sam gets killed. And then they trick her into going and she gets caught and she gets sent to the salt mines in Endavir. This is off the top of my head. I really struggle with relaying it. I struggle with it. Um, so she ends up spending, I think, a year there um, as a slave and apparently most people like die within like weeks slash a couple of months when they go there um, she manages to stick it out for a whole year and
I'm currently sat in my little library area. Uh, I am streaming for the first time ever. No one is watching, but that is fine <laughs> because I am terrified. I'm just figuring out how to use the streaming platform at the moment and I think it's going okay. I think I'm going to leave the stream up for people to watch back if they want to use it. I'm currently reading Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas and I am on chapter 25 now. So I think I'm about halfway through now. Uh, I am enjoying it so far. It's taken me a little longer to get into this one than the Assassin's Blade. And I'm glad I read the Assassin's Blade first just because of certain characters that are mentioned in this book. I'm just going to carry on reading and sprinting and I will check in with you later. Okay, so I've just finished the chapter where Selena has a dream. Uh, that was interesting. Things are definitely starting to heat up a little bit. I'm really interested to see where this is going to go now that a new element has been added to the story and the plot. Good morning guys, it is a Sunday, it's about half past nine and I need to do a big update because I have been rubbish at vlogging. I moved on to front of glass, enjoyed that, not as much. I think I might have still given it four stars. So she ends up spending I think a year in the salt mines and then the Prince of Adelan and Cal who is the royal guard, like head royal guard can't remember the correct terms, um, they come and collect her because they want to put her forward as a champion in this set of trials to try and become the king's champion. Um, so there's some other assassins and some ex-soldiers and just other guys and they've all been put forward by like one of the higher ups. And so she's kind of like taking part in this competition and as the competition's going on, people are getting killed off. Like people are dropping like flies left, right, and center, um, and they're trying to figure out what's going on. She's kind of been segregated to her rooms for most of the time because they don't trust her because she's an assassin and they pulled her out of some hellhole. So she's confined to her rooms and she finds a secret door behind a tapestry in her bedroom. And at some point, she's been exploring them, but she goes down there and one of the contestants, Kane, Kane, um, he's down there and he's on that floor and he's like doing some voodoo magic <laughs> he's like chanting and there's like all these symbols and basically he makes this beast appear and it's this beast that's been killing everyone off this guy's been summoning it um, and he then locks her in with it to try to get her killed she manages to defeat the beast but she gets the she gets bitten and apparently like the bite will kill you within minutes luckily Nehemia is just happens to be around and helps her and saves her and like sorts out the wound so that she doesn't die and then it ends up the final person she has to verse is Cain and basically what this creature does is by killing the other people it transfers their strength to him so he's like super strong and powerful on top of that Someone drugs her drink so that she'll lose. So the people that own Kane as a champion, they drug her. So she's drugged, he's super strong, um, and they've got to have like this final battle and she's totally losing and stressful. <laughs> it was stressful. Um, and Cal is like on the floor, like she's on the floor and Cal's like down on the floor, like 
he can't enter the ring and he's like, get up, get up, get up. Oh. And then Nehemia comes in again and she's like chanting, doing some finger wiggling. And this Elena, who I haven't mentioned yet, but she's like this fae, she was a fae queen or half fae queen. I can't remember if she's fae or half fae. I think fae um, queen. And she is like dead. And she's not a ghost, but like basically there's portals that open to other worlds and stuff. So she manages to come through from the other world and help and assist. So basically Selena ends up winning um, and then she becomes the king's champion. So basically she's going to work for this king for I think it's four or five years and then she can have her freedom as long as she like kills all the people that the king wants killing. Oh, in front of glass she's with the prince and then at the end of that when she becomes the king's champion she basically breaks it off for him because she's like this isn't good for either of us. I'm going to leave eventually and I'm working for your father now so let's end this. Um, he's obviously still into her but yeah. And I think that's where Throne of Glass ends. I hope you enjoyed that video guys. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you did stick around and watch the video, then uh, have a little chat with me down below and let me know your thoughts. Keep an eye out for part two and I will see you next time.